What's going on guys? So today on the Shoki Quickie, finally complete the Dino Thunder set with Dino Thunder Yellow. Yay! Alright guys, so now we're going to look at the final Ranger from the Dino Thunder line and it has taken way too long for this to happen. But GameStop finally got her in. <clears throat> and one thing you can see is that this is not the new packaging. This is the old school Power Rangers packaging, which kind of alludes to the fact that they've been sitting on this figure for a while. Not GameStop, but Bandai. Um, because the final Rangers we've looked at, we had the Psycho Rangers, the uh, Red Armored Ranger, or even the White Dino Thunder Ranger all came in the new packaging. So this girl should have been out quite some time ago, but they're really kind of trickling it along. And making sure that the last big part of the build a Megazord was with her. So, you know, making you really string along till the final end. Now, you do get Power Rangers up there. You got build a Megazord with the Dino Thunder Megazord. Nice image of yellow there. You got her here in her uh, trapped form. And for the most part, I'm assuming that she's exactly the same mold as all the other female rangers we've gotten, like from Zeo, but with the exception of the belt. I could be wrong, but anytime I have a skirt built in, I just kind of make the assumption. But you do get her weapon, and then build build a Megazord part there, Dino Thunder thing. Limited edition. Yeah, I guess that's technically true, because it's kind of the end of the line. And you got Ages 4+. Plus. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. And you come to the back, and you got all the same stuff there, and the old thing that was an absolute lie. <laughs> so, uh, Zeo Red, Zeo Blue, Zeo Pink, Dino Thunder Black, and Dino Thunder Yellow should have all been in this wave, and they definitely were not. That's when they really started messing things up, where Pink came out a totally different time, uh, specifically from GameStop. Black came out even before that. White Ranger just came out, so they have really, really messed with the lines at this point, so... It is what it is, but let's go ahead and get Kira out here and see how awesome she is. And let's finish this series up. All right, guys, so here she is, Miss Yellow. Looking very good. Actually, it's, it's pretty good. I think you know, I've only got one other Yellow Ranger, and that's Zeo Yellow. So uh, she looks good, uh, but you can tell definitely from the previous generation because crappy, butterscotchy, Velveeta E gold. You know, some, some painted gold, but not much. You know, up here and then the Tampa bit on the chest. Um, white paint here. Stuff like that. Silver eyes up there on her helmet. The white paint down the arm. No paint whatsoever on the morpher, because never. And a little bit of gold paint here, but then everything else, especially like this holster, which is garbage. Uh, and then down here on the legs, also garbage. Um, but I guess, you know, for completion's sake, you gotta have her. So, and the fact that, you know, she comes with the final version of the, or final piece of the Megazord. You do get the swivel and uh, disc mounted head. Looks pretty good. Super loose shoulder. Can rotate. Bicep. Single jointed elbow. And the same kind of wrist we're used to, honestly. Ball joint mounted torso, so she can really move around. And you do get the... Yeah, no waist rotation. Okay. It looks like it's there. You do have to cut for it, but it doesn't look like it worked. Uh, legs are going to be very uh, limited by the skirt and don't want to do any damage, so that's just that. I do always appreciate the thigh cut actually covered by the skirt, so you can actually rotate the legs a little bit. Double jointed knee, boot cut, which isn't too bad, and the foot is, you know, there as usual. Uh, the only... The main downfall for the girls is that the feet are small and that they don't stand up very big. Stand up very big. Stand up very well. It's early days, guys. And the gun is there. whoop de doo I do wish they'd come with their weapons. I'm fairly certain she cannot hold that. Look at the look at the difference of her hand to the handle of the gun. There is no way she can hold that. Wow. Way to really limit the figure there, Hasbro. Hasbro, Bandai. I'm getting ahead of myself. We don't have we don't have a Hasbro Power Rangers yet. We will, but let's go ahead and bring out the rest of her team. So a good old blue boy here. He likes to fall over like all of them do. And you've got red. So there's the original, original three. 
and yeah, ankles. Uh, at this point, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous review, but I'm basically gluing all of their ankles solid so that they'll stay. Because uh, most of them really don't. And actually, Blue Boy here cannot keep his holster on. It just falls right off for some strange reason. It, it seems to peg in well, but then it falls right off. So I don't understand how that happens. And you see his knees are still really weak. He gets weak in the knees around Kira. Or gravity. And then we get Dr. O over here. Stay. I'm going to fall. And then White Ranger, we looked at last time, told you it would fall. So between the ankles and the knees is usually why these guys won't stand. And now we've got a domino effect happening. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to collect this line for much longer. Although I'm looking at the In Space Rangers now, we'll see what happens. If I can get them on, if I can get them for cheap, I might buy the In Space. I don't think I'm gonna get Mighty Morphin again, even though that also re-released with this set. So it is what it is. I'm gonna get a picture of that. So there she is with all of her teammates from that season, and there's Wally and. Here's an Iron Man Mark I for comparison. Definitely not the same kind of scale of person. And just to show it off, there's her Megazord part. I'm going to do the uh, Megazord combination or uh, put together in a separate video. Probably attach it to the end of this one. But that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the Dino Thunder Wave. It is what it is. It's a good looking set with the exception of the crappy gold, except for Mr. Uh, white pants back there because he's the only one who got good paint uh, and of course if you wanted to you could definitely try to repaint some of these things if you have a gold that's close to this I don't therefore I have not bothered to repaint um, any of them now the weapons the weapons need to be updated his uh, brachio staff or whatever it's called sucks it's just not even close same thing with him back there with his his weapon uh, the Guns are close, but not great at all. The morphers are not accurate in any way, shape, or form, except for the fact they're molded individually for each ranger. That's actually neat. <clears throat> but that's it for the Dino Thunder, people. So if you like this video, if you're finally done seeing these, <laughs> give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And uh, grab the Choki shirt or check out the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Every little bit absolutely does help and I appreciate anybody who does and of course if you do the Patreon um, there's all kinds of stuff to look at so there's that but that's going to be it for this Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger review guys I will catch you on the next one remember as always to keep on nerding